How's it going, everyone? Zero here, and welcome to another For Glory episode. Now featuring my old bro main Meta Knight. I am actually pretty, pretty happy, pretty hyped to um, play Meta Knight because Meta Knight was a character that I spent so much time in, bro. Um, you know, a lot of people thought that Meta Knight was like an easy character to use in, bro. Maybe he was like an like an like easy levels, you know, like a like a low level play. But at the top level play, Meta Knight was an extremely technical character. And he was really difficult to use, actually. Um, I put so much, I put like, like, like what, I, I think I put like maybe like 10,000 hours of practice into Meta Knight or, or more. I Probably more, dude. I, I spent so many days playing all day. I spent like years playing all day. <laughs> it, was, it was too much. In this game, I haven't, I haven't used him nearly as much, but, uh, I mean, whenever I pick him, you know, he brings back good memories and it's always exciting to go back to that, even, even if for a little bit, you know? Ryu, okay. So Meta Knight does, I will say does okay against Ryu. I think Ryu wins it, but uh, because he has too much damage and Meta Knight like can like, yeah, you know, you could just get wrecked really soon. It can also like, he can also strong up tilt uh your down airs or when you're jumping down in the air. So it can actually be pretty difficult for Meta Knight to go up in the air. Oh man. It can also like focus attack through your force smash. So that can be pretty bad. Okay, here we go for the back throw. Now we need to go for the game. Keep in mind that uh Sh Landon Shuriken has no lag, so uh, so if you see him land, you don't actually want to go for a punch because you can actually die. His force smash also has extremely little amount of like that almost killed. Oh my god, I've used the leg. Up smash should take it out. Yep. All right, here we go. Uh, in terms of uh, racking up damage at, at low percents, you can go for a dash tag into like upper upper strengths pretty much, and that can mean like upper neutral is pretty good at low percent. It's pretty safe, pretty easy to do. A higher percents. Oh man. Higher percents you can go for more uppers, like like a middle percent you can go for like a upper succession into a B, which you can kinda kill actually. Even though I got nerfed, you can still kill. If you if you're really quick and you're attacking the right uh, type of character. The more the more the, the ones that fast fall won't really fall for it no more. But uh, characters that are light, like kinda like Rosalina and whatnot, they can actually still get hit by it, so. I just have to continue. It's probably gonna air dodge. Yeah. So we started off a little bit rough. We started off a little bit rough, and then we we got the swing of it by the end of it. So that's pretty good. Uh, one of the things I started doing more was that I started realizing the the timing of his attacks. So I was like, okay, so I'm gonna roll behind him. You know, I know he's going to do an up at a shield, so I'm just gonna wait and then punish the landing. Like you know, like it became predictable pretty fast. So I just started like I'll, pick, I'll you know I pretty much just I'll. I'll camp them. Not I'll camp them, but like I just have more patience than him. So he kept throwing out moves in the wrong times. Um, other than that, I think I think Ryu beats Venona because you know you can cover his landers really well. You kill him like a 40% with rage, uh, like up till up B. And it's just pretty rough for it's pretty rough for Meta Knight Hero. But yeah, Ryu side B only has uh, it actually only has one hitbox. If you block it, then it doesn't really hit you anymore, so you can just punish it like that. Fourth throw here. We're gonna just OP. Mm -mm. Man, this force smash is amazing because. Oh my god, I actually should have released it. I didn't think he was gonna. I didn't think he was gonna. Man, this force smash is good because he has almost no cooldown. So you can kind of just throw it. And it's ridiculously powerful. Like, you see how I just killed him like that? I mean, I'll bait he had bad DI, yes, but. No, it's still pretty powerful move nonetheless. I love person you can also go for down throw up smash and you can follow it up with actually a B. So um, I'm not sure if it's a true combo, but if people don't immediately air dodge, they'll get hit by it, so it's pretty it's pretty good as a mix-up, you know. So 
Pump and small to keep in mind. Other than that, Men and I actually wants to stay in the air. Like down there, like this is actually really good. Like in, like in, like in brawl. That's like one. Of, that's one of the most brawl things you can do in this game. Everything else is like uh, not the same. You can fall down with backers. You can also footstool your opponent. Oh, he actually could have killed me with uh, TSK. TSK is true shuriken. There we go. Oh my god, why will you challenge that? Why will you challenge? The thing about Meta Knight's Force Smash is that it has a ridiculous amount of range, first of all. So if you throw the Force Smash around, you'll have a ridiculous amount of range. And also, when you land this move, it will it can literally like just kill you like extremely early. Like it's powerful, it has range, it has no cool. And it's one of the best force smashes in the game, actually. And every time that you think your opponent might roll or spot dutch into you, just charge your force smash a little bit more. You'll be surprised at the amount of times you can actually land this move and kill your opponent with it. It's uh it's crazy, it's crazy, it's it's more than you will think. Another another thing with Meta Knight is the fact that Meta Knight relies a lot on dash stack and grabbing. Uh, Meta Knight can literally jump around as much as he wants down here. Um, air dodge, jump around, you know, you got, you have to play very patient with Meta Knight and you have to wait for that one opportunity where you can land a dash grab or, or a dash stack. Why you want to land a dash stack or dash grab is because your whole combo game relies on those two moves pretty much. So once you land a dash stack, you can go for upper, into backers, into neutralers, into all, everything you want, into upbees, anything. And if you get a dash, uh, dash grab, you can go for down throw and you can get a dash stack or you can get uppers or you can get an up smash or, you know, all these other moves that allow you to uh, actually employ your combo your combos in general so those are the two moves that you want to land so when meta Knight, you have to have the mindset that i need to land dash stack and i need to land grab you can also still kill people with upper lb but it's just more specific characters and uh, for example i believe me too might be a character that we can um dash stack upper lb because you know he's weight he's a little light he's a little floaty i'm not sure i'm not sure we'll be able to do it though because you have to be actually really fast while doing it you can't just like you see how he hit the eye? So that was my bad because I should have followed him. Like, I should have followed him up a little better. I actually went past him and he ended up behind me. Mana Knight's back here is amazingly strong. Oh my god. <laughs> I thought I was gonna die. His up throw is also a kill throw. You can also do uh, down throw in the neutral into a grab or a dash die. And neutral is really good. He has a lot of knockback. And it's really good at landing and covering the ledge. You can do like a neutraler from the ledge like this, and it will cover neutral get up. And also jump. So the reason I can kill him is because I did down throw and he died up. That means you can go for an up B. Even if DDI away sometimes you can still get an up B. So it's still important to know. A lot of persons you can go for a down throw into dash tag. And your general mix up though is going to be like they start, you know. They start shielding your dash tags, you go for grabs. They start, you know, spot dodging your your grabs, you go for dash tag. Oh, I missed the setup. So the setup is that you go for a dash tag into a full hop upper, and then you do a fall in backer. That will put the opponent into a text into a tech scenario. Or into a javelock situation if they miss the tech. And then you can go for Ooh. Oh, sorry, I, I really wanted to see if I can kill that kill. And then you can get, after that, you can jab lock them with a uh, down tilt. And then you can go to their get up option. And you can go for an up tilt, which will combo into uppers. And you can potentially O death them like that. Oh, man. See, Meta Knight is all about, like, just putting your moves into a certain spot and then waiting for people to fall into them. Meta Knight can be a very, can be, sometimes be a very repetitive character. Um, he's fun, though, because you can jump around and you have more much more freedom in your movement than other characters do But you do a lot of the same stuff, you know, you're always running around for to land a dash stack or land a grab You're always kind of waiting around to, you know, land upper You're always waiting around for something, you know, so as long as you understand that you will have an easier time playing Meta Knight Meta Knight though, I will recommend mm, yeah, This is the thing, Abadango, you know how Abadango is really good with uppers and actually landing them all the way through so you can get a kill Well, here's the thing now, Vidango actually changes controller scene. He uses the Giga controller, but he actually changed one of the trigger buttons to attack. So when he's doing the jumps, he actually doesn't have to let go his uh, his thumb from the control stick to do the uppers or the, or C stick. You know, so he actually can jump much faster and much more precisely by changing your control scheme. So I will actually recommend because you know I tried it and it's it's so much easier to do it like that. I mean, I'm not gonna change my controls for just one character that you know it's not one of my mains or secondaries, but. 
Um, if you're a serious Meta Knight player, I will really, really recommend into looking into changing your controller scheme so you can um, operate as quick as you literally can and as comfortably as possible. I think that's, I think that's something worth looking at, right? looking into. This man literally dashed like. He does not know he's fighting. I could have actually forded it. I think it would have been better. Because I would have covered the option a little bit better. It would have, it would have covered air dodge at least. I'm gonna down throw. I'm gonna turn around here. I might kill him actually. I should have forced smash. I messed up there. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do that. We're fine. If you if you see someone like chart like doing a move on the ground and you're kind of landing. You can kind of just like down beam to them and then do the attack. It's really powerful, and that's a really always a really good situation like that. You see how he actually did a move there. In terms of recovery, I really enjoy using side B to recover. Oh my god, I actually pull back. That's why it killed me though. This option I should almost do it. There we go. We're gonna go for up through here. I just want him to get into a juggle position. There we go for I mean he has a lot of lag on the ground. That's what I should have done earlier. I would have gotten a much bigger lead if I did so. Uh down smash is really weak. And almost always it's better to go for your tilt, really. Also, your jab is amazing. I forgot. Your jab is amazing near the ledge. Your jab is a crazy trap near the ledge because it, it, it literally doesn't lag. And it covers like everything sometimes. It's crazy. Okay, I need to start blocking against this man. He's uh Oh, I try to go for a pivot uh, dash attack so I can get him on a good angle. To kill him. Okay. I try to go for the O death, but uh, or for the, for a kill combo. You see how Jab is amazing? You can just hold it there. That's okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes when you down B, even if you have no intention of going for down B, people have to respect it. And he's dead. I don't know why he upper. Like he he should have definitely not tried. You that you never want to land into Meta Knight because he he would like good Meta Knight players will like take that opportunity to do a pivot force smash like that and they'll just kill you like at 70. <laughs> so you never want to land into Meta Knight. Landing into Meta Knight is asking to get force smash. So yeah, I mean I think I played that match. Eh, I mean I made some questionable plays. Uh, some some pretty questionable plays. We're gonna we're gonna try this again. We're gonna try this again with more knowledge now. But that was uh, that was pretty questionable. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But uh, some of the things I did wrong is there I picked the wrong punishes a lot of the time. But at the same time, I wasn't blocking enough. So, all right, here we go. Hmm. Okay. Uh. All right. So down throw. Down throw into the no chiller is a good combo. Okay. I am not going to give him a glory stock. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll give him a glory stock. Fine. Fine. We'll give him a glory stock. Oh, you piece of crap. You were charging your blast and I'm giving you a glory stock? Never again. You're not worthy. You can also do no chiller. It's not bad. Yeah, we should have we should have not given this man. He don't know. He, he was he was he was being grimy. He charged that blazel. I was dying for him. I died for him. Look at what he does. Well, that actually didn't work. I'm gonna go for an upper here. And if you're Dutch, I can go for the neutraler. And hopefully not miss like that. Okay, now I have no jumps here. Okay.
Oh my god, it actually worked. There we go. <laughs> okay, so all I need to do is just block that charge shot and then just, you know, just punish the, punish the, the electric vulnerability. That's, uh, that's all I came down to. Um, I think I could have done something better. I think I could have, uh, hmm. I think I could have actually, well, hmm. Maybe I could have down smashed it. But, uh, I just banked it off of him, not really taking that. But, yeah, so we gave him the glory stock. The only way to actually get glory in for glory is to give out the glory stock. That's how you initiate the for glory ritual. Of course. <laughs> okay. All right. So, some of the things we talked about. So, we talked about the neutral. We talked about we talked about the ledge, uh, cover it with no children and jab and just block it in general, winning around. We talked about the main mix up on the ground, which is dash deck and grab. You want to mix it up pretty much. And then we talked about jumping around and doing down and whatnot. We talked about down B. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about juggling. Juggling for Meta Knight, you mainly want to go for up smashes on the uh, whenever they want to land because up smash does have a lot of range and you can uh, kind of beat their moves with up smash. You can also jump on up B. And some of the moves that you can do out of shield are neutral air. Neutral air and down air are really good out of shield. Up B out of shield is also very underrated and works really well, actually. You can also do drop shield into jab, drop shield to down tilt, drop shield into dash that. Mana Knight is really good out of shield. He has a lot of options that he can punish with. So you have a wide plethora of moves that you can punish with. You can also do land in neutral air, for example, into, into dash attack. If you're pretty quick, though. And, and it's like a low percent, too. I, li I like this one. Yeah. To get the up B combo, you literally have to like get them in a position like that. You have to like do it really quick and really precisely though. Yeah, for example, I kind of like something like that. Uh, and you and they have to like be uh, light enough so they'll die earlier than the, because the characters that fall faster, they're more difficult to kill vertical because they fall faster, of course. That's why floaty characters can be difficult to kill sideways, like Samus, for example. For up smash here. I missed that up to us. That's okay. Actually, we're for a grab. I did not expect that. Oop, oops. I did not think that Ashtag was going to connect. Actually. Too little percent for that. I'm pretty sure we have to go for a forward here. Oh, I did it too high. I should have went for a sure hop for there. The good thing is that when people are getting uh, up air, they'll mostly spam air dodge because they just don't want to get up B. Because they'll assume Meta Knight is going to kill them, even though it's, he's not going to kill them most of the time. <laughs> With it now anymore, at least, because of the nerf. Um, you can actually get some really sweet reads off of it, like, for example, um, down B or whatnot. You can get a lot of really cool stuff. Oh, you can also do grab release into neutral, like I did there. That actually can... can that works only if the opponent doesn't expect it. It's not a combo or anything, but it's like a... It's like this, uh... It's like this little tricky setups, you know, that if people are not ready for it, they'll get hit. So I can catch people off guard really well. We go for the dash grab. We wait for the air dodge here. All right, dodge. We grab the landing. Oh, nice back air off the ledge. That was really good, actually. Dash stuck here. At this point, it might be better instead of trying to go for the combo move. It might be better if I just wait for the air dodge. Because at this point, he's going for a lot of air dodges. But yeah, that yeah. hurt us here. And you know, you know, every time you expect him to throw a smash attack in that type of situation, you can honestly just go for like a down B. That works out really well. Yeah, so I I run up to him right, just barely outside grab rage, trying to beat him into grabbing me. It's just because I expect him to like grab me, then I force smash, and he tries to grab me. Obviously, whips. Die like at 70, you know, like these are the type of mana nice things that you want to kind of do. Those are the mana nice stuff, like quote unquote mana nice stuff. Like you want to be, you want to make these little tricks to get the moves that you want. Mana nice is all about like using the tricks. Mana nice is like a very tricky character. And I think that a player that can kind of 
do well with Meta Knight is a player that can employ a lot of little tricks um, in their play style. For example, that's why players like Leo. Leo is really tricky. Tyron's really tricky, you know. Like, Ido, they're all just men the good Meta Knight players are all, when I play them in Brawl, you know, they're all really tricky players in general. Like, they always had, like, a, like a trick behind, you know, up their sleeve or something. I think that's how you say it in English. <laughs> Because Meta Knight is like all about this like obscure like tricks to get force smash or dash tags in, you know, he's a character that requires like the, the street experience <laughs> to put it in a way. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, Jav has almost no lag, so you can actually like kinda throw it out on some ranges. I'd rather get hit by the neutraler than get my shield broken, because I can die. I mean, maybe I wouldn't die. In terms of recovering, you can almost always side B. People try to challenge the side B. Fairly rarely they'll kill you, but if they miss, they'll literally get stage spiked or worse, spiked. And they can just die really early in a funny way. Wait for the air dodge. Oh my god, the Wi Fi tech. To be honest with you, I didn't think I was gonna even do it because in Wi-Fi I just assume text don't happen because they rarely do. The ledge trump with the upbeat. Wait for your dodge. Wait for your Oh my god, okay. Okay, I was a little too slow, but that was a neutraler kill for sure. That was my bad. I was just a little too slow there. That was the correct play, but the wrong execution. What do here? Throw behind them. <laughs> oh my god, I, al I almost killed him like really early. He goes for the chip. Oh my god. Dangerous. Nice jab, he covered, he covered, he actually covered my dash deck with that, so that was pretty good. You can also down B towards the ledge, and it's pretty safe too. Up will be a shield, can sometimes catch him off guard when trying to jump. I'll go for a down throw here. It's kind of dangerous to actually go for a jab here, or for a force smash, because he can counter. And if he happens to counter, then we can die like a 2%. And Forto actually sends him like kind of sideways, which I really enjoy. It always comes down at that clutch moment. At that point, oh my god! Oh my god, that helps so much for the kill. Oh my god! So he kept throwing moves in the neutral, right? He kept like doing dantels, dantels, jabs. So I just down B behind them and just you know. Kill them with the down B attack. That's a really good way to use down B. Like I said, if the opponent is throwing moves, all you need to do to land down B is to, you know, be 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 for sure that they're going to throw another one move after that one, and then you go for the down B and they'll die. They'll die like that. So that's how you want to do it. Ganondorf. Also, this song I've been listening to this song like 20 times a day. It's so inspiring and just dope. I love it. Oh, I actually missed out the neutral. You can do you can do a lot of combos out of like upper into waiting for the you know for the air dodge into neutraler into fallen neutraler into dash stack. You know, like neutraler is a really good combo tool because it helps you actually do landing combos after people air dodge your move. So it connects your moves to it really well. You wanna be careful against Ganon because Ganon has a lot of power. And if you're juggling him and you're not careful, he can like actually down B you and kill you. So you wanna be extra careful while fighting Gander. You wanna be really patient. And he can literally break your shield in like just two moves. You wanna kinda wait around for this little openings. <laughs> Yeah, so there, I literally, I knew he was he wanted to down B or down air my my upper, so I just waited for him to kind of just do it. Okay. 
this one I'm just baiting him go for no chiller here to get more combos be more patient over here bait that out there we go upper downer forward that's also another combo you can do at this point I want to just wait oh, yeah man on ice tornado has like it doesn't have as much priority as it did in brawl it's a uh, it's a lot worse of a move but it actually kills really well and it does a really crazy amount of damage which is really good to do uh, from the ledge actually it's a really good ledge trap option maybe I'll use it here and there but uh depends I don't like to mess around with Ganondorf near the ledge. It's really good near the ledge, around the ledge, because you can cover jump, get up, and uh, roll all at the same time. Okay. At this point, I want to stay off the ledge like really hard because if you get side B, you'll die at zero, and you, you will lose the match. So I, th I don't think it's worth it to even go. All it takes for Ganon is you literally just do it, and for you to not be ready. There we go. All we needed to do was just wait around in mid range, bait him to do something, and then we could just punish it. That's how you beat Ganon. You bait him. Ganondorf has to do something. You bait him. He's slow. That's how you beat him, pretty much. Uh, Ganondorf loses straight up to camping. If you fight him, if you throw your moves first, then that's how you're gonna get into trades or just get wrecked. So you know that's how you don't. That's how you don't fight Ganon, pretty much. More Ganondorf, of course, as we stay. We, we tech that. Oh, we're actually teching in Wi-Fi. I'm actually proud of myself. <laughs> Maybe I've been playing too much for Dory. That's not bueno. Oh, I wish I could have gotten that neutral. Here. If you want to edge guard some, with Meta Knight, you can actually drop down with a neutral. Here. And you can catch up a lot of recoveries like that. You can two frame the ledge too. Get a lot of cool stuff with it. Okay. Apparently, I'm getting force smash, so that's why I'm jumping around a lot. If he backer me there or upper me, I could have died. Okay, here we go. I could have bought B out of that. That miss. I had to throw another move because I felt scared. Like I should be. There we go. Neutral is so good to cover. Like, all you need to do is drop down neutral like that. And you can cover the ledge so well. Careful, Tornado has no priority pretty much. But you can pressure shields really well. Remember to mash it a little bit so you can get more damage. It does a crazy amount of damage. Oh, the one we don't take. You can also do upper into upper into tornado, and it can actually kill. Not, yeah, not like that kill, but you know it can it can kill pretty decently. Should go for a four there here. Wow, that actually outspaced me. We're gonna wait here. We have to wait pretty much. We're gonna jump a little bit to trick him a little bit. We we'll, we'll wait for that first move. And yep. Randomly charging force smash is so rewarding for Meta Knight though. Because you charge the force smash, people are gonna be afraid of that. They're gonna get away from that. So you don't get punished because it has no cooldown. So literally almost no cooldown. So you won't get punished anyway. And if for some reason they decide to go there, they either have to block it and lose all their shield. So you you know you can actually after you force smash their shield, you can go for a tornado to keep pressure on their shield and shield stab them so you can attack the the weak parts of their shield to get the tornado anyway, even if they're blocking. Or they just run into it and die like at 60. So charging force smash is almost always rewarding for Minute. Funny enough, you know, he's one of the few characters who can actually charge a smash attack and it's like a good strategy, you know. Corrin. So Corrin does outrange Meta Knight and you have to be wary of the projectile. But uh, if you're careful though, hmm, I want to say Corrin wins this matchup. Or it's like even-ish. But uh, why would I say that? Because we get our range. Meta Knight gets our range. Oh my god. He did not go into texture. And Corrin can actually juggle Meta Knight pretty, pretty hardcore with upper and nurture. 
But Meta Knight can, uh, you know, he can do some Meta Knight stuff. I think he's gonna get spiked right here. He, I think he may die. I think he's getting spiked straight up right now. Like, straight down. Or it's gonna lag, and then we're just gonna get exit out of the game. Oh, never mind. Oh, we got disconnected. I'm pretty sure we got disconnected. Yeah, this is not the dude anymore. Yeah, we're fighting a computer right now. Are we? Oh, yeah, we are. Oh, yeah, we definitely are. Yeah, I don't like when they do this, because... You know, it's like, it's no fun to fight the computer. But uh, for now, I'm going to show you guys, like, some, some training combos, I guess, suppose. So you can do, like, for example, okay. So they miss the tech, you wait around here, and then you can dash tag. Even if they do any of the three options, you know, you can, uh, you can cover them with reaction dash tag. Upper, upper, neutral air. Upper, neutral air, turn upper, into tornado. It can actually kill at the top. You do it all the way at the top you know like that yeah like it can actually kill especially in the low ceiling stage like town city anyway some people have the worst for glory tags like i'm metal face but look at this dude's tag like come on now man come on now man k9 anyway dude k9 is so funny oh we have like K9 is so funny. Just, just honestly, if you haven't watched K9 Salt compilation or any K9 just funny videos, like when he knocked over the door at Pound, there's so much, so much funny stuff with K9, dude. He's actually with my roommates. Oh, yeah. That dude's hilarious. Oh, <gasps> that killed me at zero. Anyway, oh, we're making a combat. Hey, hey, no, 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 they ain't gonna happen. They ain't gonna happen. No, 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 no. They ain't. They, mm, 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 no, 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 no. Mm -mm. Oh no, oh no, we're focusing right now. We're try harding right now. Mm -mm. Oh man, I meant to smash. Man, I could have up here. Into up B. I could have died. Run up B? Yeah, after the down three, you could just. I <laughs> should have punished that. Yeah, after the down three, you go for an OP like that. It's really good, actually. It could kill a lot of characters, and it's sometimes a combo, too. You can do a lot better than that stack neutral but I'm just sticking to more simple combos so I can get a lead. Oh my god, I dropped down at the wrong time. I totally underrated that move. Well, not underrated, but I just... I expect him to have a way different timing. Not a counter. Let's go. Let's go. The men are gonna come back. Let's go. We die at zero, but we come back. Anyway, let's go. Alright, here we go. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be the last match for today's episode. Hopefully we we can uh, we can do a lot of really awesome stuff. So we go out with a blast. Oh, Diddy Kong. So I think Diddy Kong beats Meta Knight pretty, pretty solidly because he can't really get in. If Diddy Kong plays the banana game correctly. But if Diddy Kong doesn't pull a banana, then you can, you can mess him up. <laughs> you can mess him up. You can also do a roar back air, which is uh, you turn around while running and then you jump, press, uh, and then you do a back air so you can uh, do a back air out of down throw. It's really good, honestly. Also, if people like roll into you, you can just jab them. Well, I'm gonna this. Wait, I try to actually up there. That's fine. All right, so I maybe I can get a force smash out of here. Okay, I try to go too hard. So if you stay near the ledge when you get banana, uh, banana loses a lot of a lot of its power because. You can't get any follow-ups after getting the banana. He'll just hit you with the banana anyway. It's really good when you are not trying to get killed. It can work really well. Back throw can sometimes kill too as well. That's okay.
Mm -hmm. I could potentially kill him with up throw. Okay. I thought that banana was actually gonna go through the dash stack and kill Diddy Cole. Can't get any follow ups up here. I thought I was gonna up smash my landing, so that's why I dodge. Black throw should almost kill him. Or kill him. Alright, it just kills him. So he's gonna pluck the banana here. We oh, missed the banana grab. Oh, never mind. Okay, alright, 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 here we go. That's the fun thing about up smash is after the up smash you cannot be if they if if you, they if, if you know if they seem that they're not gonna air dodge right away you can you can also have to go up tilt into a B but if you miss you die so <laughs> be careful nice. Oh, God. God. GDI. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, at this point, we have to keep playing really, really patient. Grab the banana here. Get the re grab. Go for the right back here. Barely missed. That actually missed. It's probably gonna go for a spike. He definitely meant to force smash. No, what will you monkey kick? No, you were doing fine, Daddy Kong. You were doing fine. You were doing fine. You were doing fine, Daddy Kong. Ah, oh, goddamn. Anyway, that matchup is a little difficult for Meta Knight, but uh, as long as you manage to find a way to get in, which is you know you just you know you uh, pretty much just deal with the banana you can actually down tilt the banana and it can disappear that's a really good trick too it's an underused trick but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode let me know in the comments below what you thought of the episode make sure to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and i'll see you guys around in the next video zero out